Coconut Gaming. Hi there folks, excuse the slightly different format for filming this one instead of on the turntable. The pure simple fact is that so many of the pieces are flat that it's going to be easier for me to just hold the camera in hand and pan across and let you see the things. So this is the German stowage kit from Rubicon that I got that much of it will be used in the Opal Blitz. Actually much of it won't be used in the Opal Blitz because there's far 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 too much of it just to use within one vehicle. Um, so. A plan was for much of it to be used within that, but realisation dawned um, and some of it, it gets used and the masses won't be, but it's all done now anyway. So let's start zooming in and getting a wee look and there will be some stills at the end as well for you. So there's various different tracks, various different uh, tank wheels. Um, excuse me, but I forgot which ones they're for, um, but it tells you in the box which tanks they are for. Now what you're about to see there is the cables. These cables I love. The kit comes with these little plastic end sections here and yet you then make your own cable to fit into them um, using copper wire. So that's copper wire that I've folded and painted. Let me try and find one of the ones where we can see where the join is. I've masked and hid them all too well. Ha <laughs> ha Zoom out, zoom. Doo -doo -doo. There, this one. If I can find it on the camera. There you can see the copper cable just at the one side. And just as I'm turning it, you can see the lip where the plastic was. So it's like a half tube, and you put your super glue into the half tube and then put your cable, your copper wire into it and um, so that's the finished tow cables various different lengths of cable I've gave them so let's find where we were at again different canopies as well for different soft top options for some of the different German vehicles and we have the oil cans I've got one of them a wee bit of rust I've then got various metal ammo boxes with a hell of a lot of rust because let's face it they're on the eastern front Winter's here, it's a captured vehicle, they're not using it, it's been scraped and damaged. They've kept it in the back of the vehicle, they're sell the Soviets. So, yeah, scratched up, beat up, damaged, different bits of kit lying on them. Then we've got some different wooden ammo crates, I've glued these together just to make them a wee bit more um, dioramic, a wee bit more dynamic, um, rather than just leaving them flat. Some very nice pieces. I like the bucket. Broke one of them but managed to fix it because um, I wasn't paying attention and I snapped the handle. But I can't remember which one it is because they went back together and back quite easily. The little German helmets are cool as well. I really like the touch of having them in the kit. Again, a wee bit of the canvas, wee bit of the boxes. I've added some mould. Um, there are various different greens to them just to try and give it that weathered in look. And then some kerosene and red diesel with the hand pumps. Again, tanks are beaten up and bits of rust on them. And then some grease spilling down the side of the bucket here as well. So, see plenty of stills there. Um, hopefully you like the pieces. I think it's a fantastic little kit really really cool little kit I mean even if you just want to do dioramas um, buy these use them for dioramas um, really fun um, and I had fun making the cables had a lot of fun making the cables I was a wee bit scared um, but it's just copper cable stripped out of wire and we've got plenty of it of the electrical appliance that dies in this house we keep everything we can out of it so the copper cable come in useful the tracks, I've let them rust up quite heavily as well um, because they're just lying there not being used but if they went back on a vehicle then I'm sure a lot of that would get cleaned off just with the actual the road wear. So, again, hope you like them. Um, I've had an absolute blast um, with the kit um, and you'll see some of it added to Mopo Blitz when it's finally um, all finished, uploaded and shot. So... Here come the stills. Take care, my friends. Bye for now.